Welcome back to Pen and Reel. I'm your host, Uncle Joel, and today I want to talk to you about Mark Miller's Sharky, with art by Simone Bianchi. Now, I went into this book as a bit of a fan of Mark Miller's work. I've really enjoyed a lot of the stuff that he's put out since his time working with Grant Morrison on Justice League and Flash, through to his run on Fantastic Four and Wolverine, and then especially a lot of his independent work, such as Jupiter's Legacy. Generally speaking, I would say that if Mark Miller puts out a book, I'm going to enjoy it. Not every book that he puts out is phenomenal, but even the books that don't necessarily impress me, they're still enjoyable. So when I stumbled across Sharky, I instantly picked it up. Now this is put out under Mark Miller's licensing agreement with Netflix. And so I was extra curious to see what kind of world he's going to be building for these future Netflix shows. And I have to say, I'm not very impressed. In all honesty, this is probably my least favorite Mark Miller book that I've read. Overall, the story and the characters are just very uninteresting. There wasn't very much about the plot that I'd really had any engagement with. And even for my least favorite Mark Miller books, I can usually get through them pretty quickly. This one, however, was a little bit of a chore for me. I found Sharky himself very bland and uninteresting. He was paired up with a kid called Extra Billy, and I found him just be this very cliche, annoying child. And yeah, okay, he put his own little twist on the annoying child, but it was still the very cliche, like, there's no redeeming qualities to this kid because he's just so annoying. And so, with a plot that I did not find very compelling, and main characters that I found very uninteresting, it was very difficult for me to get into this book. And what's worse is there were a few moments that had these very deus ex machina resolutions. Now, to be fair, Mark Miller does do that a bit, but these ones I felt were much more egregious, and he didn't continue on using those same ideas throughout the rest of the story. They showed up randomly to solve the situation of the immediate moment, and then they were never really seen again. And then adding to the problem was Simone Bianche's art. Now, I do find his art very interesting, and I do like it in certain cases. I think I most enjoy when he does these really high-detail, high-quality covers for individual issues. I find those can really catch my eye and draw me in. However, with his interiors here, I really did not connect with it the vast majority of the time. Now, when there were a lot of close-ups of the characters, I found those to be highly detailed and very interesting, and I really liked the art there. But generally, the farther they got away from the camera, the worse the art was, and honestly, a lot of it felt lazy to me. Now, part of that's probably the colors, as I feel like the color is made for a lot of muddy visuals. You know, there were a number of pages where they chose a single color to use across the entire page, so there's like... I think there was one page where there were just a bunch of different shades of green for all of the characters and for the background and everything, and it really did not work for me. I felt it made everything really blend together, and especially with those characters that are farther away that have less detail, they often feel incomplete in their art. And so when you add that choice of colors that really muddies the visuals, and you already have the incomplete characters that are not you know close up and high detail, it just made a lot of it confusing or even if not confusing it just didn't all flow together to make a striking image it just made for a needlessly complex image that i feel isn't really good for sequential storytelling you know as a standalone piece of art it could be interesting and i could see people enjoying it but as panels in a comic i found it very difficult to connect with just overall i felt the book was very mediocre like it wasn't bad, but there just wasn't much there compelling me to keep going. And if I was buying it in individual issues, I would have stopped after one, maybe two issues. Now, part of me wonders if that is a consequence of this being part of the Netflix deal. I could see from a creative standpoint, Mark Miller feeling much more constrained when he is trying to create a universe for other people to then develop a TV show out of. You know, it's one thing when you're crafting your own world from the ground up to be exactly what you want it to be and what you're trying to develop. Whereas this may have been him working with the notes of somebody at Netflix, or even just him constraining himself in trying to keep in mind that other people are going to have to build upon what he has developed here. And so he is not thinking so much in telling his own complete story. He's more focused on laying the groundwork for what other people are going to then take and run with. 
And so thinking of this as a future Netflix property, I can see this as laying the groundwork and setting up the world and the universe and the way everything functions. And so in that regard, I do feel like it does a decent job. You are introduced to the feel of the world and then they can bring other characters into it and tell different stories. And so in that regard, I feel like it, it does a decent job and it is functional, just it doesn't work for me as a compelling story on its own right. So at this point, I would say I don't really have any interest in the Netflix series once it comes out, but, you know, I might check it out out of curiosity if I don't really have anything else to watch. So yeah, just overall, this book was just, just okay. There wasn't anything really bad about it, but I also didn't really find anything particularly good about it either. But if you've read the book, what do you think? Am I, am I being too harsh on it? Should I give this book another read and give it a second chance? Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd really like to discuss this book with somebody who's read it and maybe has a different opinion than I do. If you enjoyed the video, if you could help me out by hitting the like, I'd really appreciate it. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss future comic reviews and discussions. And until next time, this is Uncle Joel saying, stay tangible.